What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are all packed up and ready to go. We're gonna put that platform to the test as you guys saw in the last video. Uh, we're gonna do some adventuring and camping with some friends and hopefully you guys like what you see. So stick around and I'm gonna be in the car shortly. All right guys, we're on the road. We're about an hour and 40 minutes away from our destination. We're going to a very special place called Alabama Hills. This place is extremely iconic because it filmed many, many movies here and it's right next to Mount Whitney and Mount Whitney Portal. So you can actually drive up to Mount Whitney or close to and you can hike up there. It's really, really nice. Or you can spend the night in the Alabama Hills, which is the desert floor. And what I'm hoping for is, since California has been getting slammed with storms, I'm hoping for some snow-capped mountains, some clouds, and basically we're gonna try to capture as much of its beauty as possible. Um, so we're gonna check out all those things and then we're gonna set up a camp and test out that platform that we built uh, the other day. So, I mean, stick with me. We'll, uh, we'll be there shortly and uh, we'll get you some shots so that you guys can check it out for yourselves. We are 3.7 miles away from Alabama Hills and the views are spectacular. The mountains are completely snow-capped. There's clouds everywhere. We just stopped at the grocery store. We got some stuff to make tacos. And when we pull over, I'm gonna introduce you to my two friends uh, that are tagging along for this adventure. And we're just gonna eat some good food, enjoy these views, and show you guys some places to check out when you're visiting this area. This is kind of sus. It is a little sus. Just don't stop because then it might not have traction again. Is he going to be able to turn around? I don't know. This might be I a dead end, bro. Can, I don't think we can get out this way. No, I think we're dead end. Oh, shoot. What do we do? We have to reverse our way out of this? Oh, hold on. Maybe we can fit. Just a little pinstriping. Oh, there's dry, there's dry. Let's get to dry and we'll figure it out. <laughs> well, there's tracks here. I, I didn't see any signs. Yeah. All right, guys, we just made it to the location. It was a crazy journey. These are my friends. What's going on, you guys? Uh, now, let me show you some drone clips. Guys, let's give you a quick tour of the campsite and kind of see what we got set up here. So we got the Lexus here and we got Brennan's Tacoma back there. Brennan's manning the fire over here like a caveman. Getting this thing going, it's hoping to God it stays lit because temperatures are dropping out here. I think we're getting close to the 30s right now and it's getting colder as the sun goes down. All right, let's show them your setup though. Like, yeah, I think sure. that I'll setup- I'll you guys around. So this is the Rolls Royce of tents. Just kidding, I got it for 75 bucks on Amazon. We're balling on a budget here. Yeah, you know I said it, but let me show you how big this is, okay? Because I have the short bed, so if you guys don't know anything about Tacomas, this is a five and a half foot. Perfect for the short kings. But me, I'm a little bit taller than a short king, so I don't necessarily fit 
good thing we have we have this what is this thing called again the tailgate this is great we have the tailgate down we got a tesla mattress inside so jake and i will be sleeping in here two grown men one bed what could happen i forgot my sleeping mats and jake came in clutch thanks jake got you. and this is what the setup looks like guys so we got the sleeping bag this awesome sleeping pad and the platform for extra space so should be pretty comfortable This is looking pretty good. You got that? I hope, did you sanitize that knife first? Yeah. There we go. Listen to the sizzle. Woo wee! So next, jalapenos. jalapenos. Oh yeah, that's right. Look, it is cooking nicely though. This will be done ASAP. Oh, these are about to be Those done. Are good. Hold on. Yeah. Let's, is this one more side? Hold on. Oh, well, Jake set it to a thousand on this one, so. To be honest though, this is really hard to adjust properly because it's got two modes. It's <laughs> it's it's at 100 or like 10%. And right. then if you mess up, it turns off. There's no in between. Up. There's no in between. <laughs> yeah. Jake's getting deep. Chopping this up. Oh, show us what you got, show us what you got. Where are the jalapenos? Ooh, very creative. Cheers. 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 All right, guys, so we are all packed up. We had to get out of the campsite pretty early because uh, we have to be back in the valley, which is close to LA, if you know this area, uh, very, very early in the morning. So we packed up pretty quickly, but let me show you some of the views here. Check this out. So we are on our way home right now. Out of the three times I've been to Alabama Hills, that was by far the best one. The mountains were snow-capped, there was water everywhere, it was just absolutely stunning. I highly, highly recommend that you visit this place if you're in the area and if you have some time, you can camp there. There's a lot of free camping, that's another thing that's great. You don't have to pay for camping, just make sure you're prepared. There's little designated spots with a tent on them, just, those are the spots that you're supposed to camp at, so make sure you're respectful of that. And also. Make sure you always clean up after yourself. Take your trash with you. Don't leave it worse than you found it. And if you find some extra trash, pick it up. It doesn't hurt and it helps the place stay open for the rest of us. If you guys enjoyed that video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. That way you guys know when I post next. I'm gonna keep creating content like this. If you guys like it, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what other places I should visit. If there's any food recommendations that you wanna see me uh, grill up or make on a campfire, let me know in the comments and I will check them out.